name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. I have had a few life changes and a few life changes coming up and I feel like it's been forever since we've sat down and chatted and did a little get ready with me. So grab yourself a beverage because this might be a long one. I also really wanted to do graphic liner today so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to do that while I chat with you but here we go. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it is currently like the back half of July and I feel like starting mid-May, my life has just been really crazy. So I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but we have been living in a townhouse for the last like five years and we wanted to kind of move into like a real house, like a standalone single family house with like a yard and we had been like window shopping for like the last year and this year we finally decided to like actually look for houses and i don't know how it is where you are but like the housing market is nuts where i am and around then we actually like got into a couple of bidding wars and we were like seeing houses the day they were on the market and still being like one of the last offers in, it's just like crazy. So we were like dealing with that and a really good opportunity came up with at work and it was just like a lot of extra mental thinking that I didn't like have to for the last year or so. So we see a couple of houses and some of them range from like really needed some work, so like some fixer uppers. And some of them were like, oh my gosh, totally move in ready, but obviously they were like so much more expensive. And we finally were able to win on a bid, but it wasn't totally the stipulations we really wanted. So of course we would have loved to have an inspection and stuff like that, but the only way to win at that time was to waive everything. So like waive inspection, waive appraisal. And that was just like really nerve wracking because that's like exactly not how we bought this townhouse. Like we had all the stipulations and they also wanted like a pretty late close. So we're not closing until August, but that gave us like a lot of time to like prep our house for sale, like our townhouse for sale and stuff. Anyway, back to the job opportunity that came up in the middle of the house craziness. So I'm quickly realizing that I cannot do my graphic liner and talk at the same time. Okay, I know they're not even, but we're gonna hopefully fix it. But anyway, for background, um, I have been a package engineer for the last five years. And this is like not a secret because you can just look me up on LinkedIn. But I work for uh, General Mills and I supported the Nature Valley brand for the last five years. And basically a processing engineering position came up supporting the Blue Buffalo brand, like the pet food brand. So I applied for it internally and got it. And that was like really exciting, but it was just a, a lot of stress, I guess. Like I've been trying to learn this new job and trying to figure out like my house stuff and this new role is also like a lot higher travel percentage than I was doing so you know if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I'm gone like almost every other week like 50% which obviously like being gone is not very helpful for like when I'm trying to move and close on a house and stuff like that so when we listed our townhouse, we thought the process was going to be a lot easier than it was. So this is our first time like selling a house because the townhouse was the first house that we owned. I'm just trying to like blend this out. The crayon was a lot, uh, it like dried a lot stiffer than I thought it would. So my husband and I, at the time when we listed the house, we just thought like, oh, well, it just has to look like tidy, you know, it doesn't have to look like nobody lives here it just has to look very clean boy were we wrong our realtor was very good by the way and so we were like willing to follow any advice she was giving us and her advice for getting our place ready to list 
like not like to move out but like to list for the pictures and the description and stuff she really wanted the house to basically look like nobody was living there like absolutely nothing on the counters no personalized photos no like she didn't really even want like a shot of the closet where you could like see our clothes basically like she wanted it to look like a generic house and we were like where do we even like put all of our things we didn't want to like rent a storage unit for like a week because we knew that by the time we took the pictures and sold the house like accepted an offer in that market it was only gonna be like a week okay i realized this was like a terrible look to try to do while i try to do get ready with me because i had to add the white eyeliner on off camera so anyway i'm lucky enough to live um pretty close to my mom so we just like start moving stuff to my mom's house and just like pack stuff in boxes get it out of the house that way it can like look semi-decent when we try to do pictures and the rest of it we just like pack up and shove in the garage like we park outside and our entire garage is just like filled with our junk and our poor little pet rabbits had to go outside too in the garage thankfully the weather was pretty mild and it wasn't like too hot or too cold but so the pictures ended up turning out quite well It was definitely like the cleanest my house has ever been, like except when we bought the thing and moved in. And I would say the whole process from like us getting our stuff out to us getting our pictures done to like offers coming in and then us accepting it only took like a week and a half, I want to say, which is so crazy like we didn't even have an open house unfortunately though the timing of the sale of our townhouse and the purchasing of our house did not quite line up the way we wanted it and we're gonna end up kind of being homeless for a week and a half almost two weeks because we're gonna have to sell and get out of our house earlier than we can buy the new place but like i said like fortunately because i live close to my parents we'll probably end up just staying with my mom so anyway now with the new place what is really exciting is like i think the new place is going to be our forever house like the one that we live in for the next couple of decades and when we bought our townhouse we basically like you know we knew it wasn't gonna be our forever house when we bought furniture we didn't really know what we were looking for. We didn't really have like an interior design style. And so we kind of just went to one of those like big box stores. I think it was like Ashley or Home Furniture or something. And we bought like all of our furniture at one time from there. And functionally, it's great because I we only had to go to one place. We had them deliver everything at one time. And that was just like so convenient for us because we had like no furniture to start with. So now with our new place, I don't want to do that again. Like I want to be like really mindful of the style and the theme across like the whole house. Just because, you know, this is like for real now. It's we're going to be in the house for a couple of decades and I want it to look nice. And now that, you know, I'm in like my late 20s. I have made some money and I don't have to just like buy whatever is on sale anymore. I can actually like start to be a little more picky in what I want. I once saw a meme that was like, your 30s are like your 20s except with more money. I feel like that's how I'm trying to set up my 30s to be. Like I'm trying to save some money now. But I am also like willing to spend it on things that bring me joy and things that look nice. Because dang, I work so hard. Should be able to treat myself sometimes, right? Speaking of treating myself, um, I did buy my first Louis Vuitton purse. I think I will do like a separate video and unbox that thing. So anyway, I think I want my new place to be sort of like mid-century modern vibes. And I will be honest, my eye for design is really bad. Like I took interior design in high school and it's supposed to be one of those like, you know, you take in everybody gets an A. I think I might have gotten like a B minus. Anyway, so if you have 
any like awesome interior design YouTube or Instagram accounts you follow, uh, let me know, share with me because I need some help. Also, we plan on like DIYing quite a few things like we plan on redoing our floors and stuff like that. So uh, whether you like it or not, it's very likely that my content over the next several months will still be beauty, but might expand into a little bit of like home DIY or whatever type videos. Um, I guess that's at least my plan. So I know I spent basically like this whole video talking about the house and my new job is actually a huge part of why I've been so busy as well. But I'm not really like allowed to talk about it because a lot of the things I do is confidential. So I'll basically tell you like what I can put on my LinkedIn. So my degree is in material science and engineering and I spent most of like the beginning parts of my career in packaging because that's what I interned in and it was like a lot of fun. And basically we tested and developed like the actual packaging material. So like when I was on Nature Valley, I worked a lot with like cartons and pouches. We call them pouches. I know like most people call them wrappers, but in the packaging industry, the wrappers are like the machine that forms the pouches and wraps the bars. I was gonna add highlight, but oh, this blush. I'm trying to decide what lip color I wanna wear. So now in my new role as a processing engineer, I basically figure out how to like make the actual product and not the packaging. So for example, now that I'm on Blue Buffalo, I figure out how to like make the dog food or cat food or whatever. That's about all I can tell you. I feel like there's so many different things you can go into as an engineer. And I don't think I ever saw myself doing what I do when I went to college, but I have a lot of fun doing it. And when people ask me if I would ever like quit my job to do makeup or YouTube or whatever full time, my answer is no. Just because I like it so much and also like I make almost no money doing makeup and YouTube right now. It just like would not be sustainable from an income perspective. So this role is like my third like job role since I graduated and so I'm never really bored because I, you know, do one thing for a while and then I find something else to do. And what's nice is that like the company is really open to like me trying new things. So anyway, I think I'm done with my makeup now. But yeah, I've just been like really busy with house and job stuff and with the next couple months, me trying to move out, trying to move in, traveling as much as I have for work, I just don't know what my uploading frequency is going to be so like just bear with me like I'm trying to get it back to normal here at some point after but because we plan on doing a lot of DIY projects at the house like I said I think that's gonna be pretty time consuming obviously I'll still be like checking my comments and interacting on Instagram so you can always find me on Instagram I feel like I'm always on that thing Thank you for listening to me rant today. I hope you had a nice beverage or like did your makeup while I was doing mine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.